preparing to be live streamed. All right, I think we're good to live. Oh, wait, are we still preparing? Hold on, everybody. Meeting is now streaming live on Facebook, is, it? is what right. I'm seeing. You're seeing we it, are, so it's official. We are live. We are go for live. Ooh. All right, let's close this out here. Hang on, let's go back to my meeting. Hopefully, it's still there. Awesome. Well, it is Wednesday, July 12th. This is the second um, Wellness Wednesday with Walt and Dr. Sharon with our special guest tonight, Paige. Um, super excited to be doing this again with everybody here. Hope you've had a wonderful day. Um, Walt, let, uh, why don't you take it away? So I am just so excited to be sharing the night with my um, beautiful bride um, who's joined us tonight as a special guest as we um, delve further into the habits of health. But, you know, I thought we would probably kind of try and review a little bit of some of the things we talked about last week, Sharon. You know, I know that we kind of touched on the whole topic of weight loss through some of these diabetic drugs and mm -hmm. the call outs that people may have if they're tempted to go that way, not to mention the cost factors. We talked about our different hats and our different affiliations with teams. And I see Paige, what kind of hat do you have on tonight, Paige? Delco. Oh, and that's Delco by marriage for you, right? Yeah, Delco by marriage. It's not a place. It's a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Ooh, I like that. We have a way of life too, though, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. Um, but as back to the review, did did we did we go into anything else? I don't. That's all I had down in my notes that I recall. I should say from memory. Yeah, you know, we started talking about self care. Oh, that's right. Remember that? Yeah. So self-care, you know what? I think I remember we kind of talked about the idea that, you know, people spend a lot of time and effort in prevention. You know, they, we get financial planners that help us map out how to save and spend our money. We go to accountants to help us save on paying taxes, which I think everybody should invest in. Right. And then we have insurance brokers that help us to save money on our homes, our cars, and then we have health insurance and some of us have some very large deductible plans um, that really add to the cost because when you get ill or out of shape to the point to where you need medication, you got to go to the pharmacy, right? And, you know, who wants to spend money on that? So I think we kind of talked about how that all adds up to, does anyone have a self-care plan? And maybe tonight we can try and talk about some of the high level things that might be a part of that self-care plan. Can you think of a couple of things that maybe would be a part of the self-care plan that, you know, we, we try and coach? Yeah. I mean, I think it starts with um, first the decision to get healthier, right? And we have a self-care plan that we follow with a healthy physical body in our sleep and our exercise and our hydration and our nutrition but we also have a self-care plan for our mental well-being, right? And our emotions and our relationships with others. We also have a self-care plan available for financial well-being. Um, we kind of have it all. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think that, you know, the one person that has kind of been my model for the last year and a half is my wife, Paige. Um, so Paige, you know, why don't you tell us a little about your story and how you created your self-care plan and some of the things that you did to kind of transform yourself and your life and our life, um, you know, in the last year or so. Hi, thanks for having me tonight. Just got home from work um, and uh, I'm happy to be here. Um, so I, I think a, a lot of people have heard my story, but for the people who haven't, I'll just kind of do a little quick recap. Um, in October of 2021, uh, I was volunteering as a nurse at, at our son's school. My picture was taken. I recently posted that picture on Facebook, actually. Um, my picture was taken with the, um, with the school mascot and posted on Facebook. And when I saw that picture, I knew I needed to make a change. I had ballooned up to my pregnancy weight when I was carrying that. I was up to 230 pounds at that point, and, and I knew I needed to uh, make a change. I was your classic yo-yo dieter. I, I did all the diets. I did eat all the carbs, don't eat any carbs, you know, cayenne, pepper, and apple cider. I did them all. I did every diet there was. I would lose weight. And the weight would come back on plus some. Um, I even resorted to um, prescription diet pills. I did them for probably on and off, I don't know, about five, 
five, eight years, did them all um, multiple times. Um, when I was 42, so in uh, November of 2013, I had a cardiac event that ended up with the ambulance rides and chest compressions and crash carts. Anyway, I ended up with a pacemaker. Um, that night in the cardiac ICU, the doctors kept asking me, do you drink those energy drinks? I said, no, I don't drink energy drinks. But I failed to mention the years of speed I put in my body to try and lose weight. And, um, in my heart, as cliche as that is, I think I ended up with this pacemaker because of the damage I did to my heart from all the years of, of taking those pills. So I knew I couldn't go back to that. So our good friend, Kathy, had done this program, lost 100 pounds. She's kept it off now for almost three years now. She was my inspiration. I reached out to her and I said, I'm ready. You have to be ready for to make a change and to, to change your lifestyle because it is it's, it's a lifestyle change to me yeah. now it's an easy lifestyle change but you know it was kind of scary back then um so i i had a call with her coach brian and uh he, he we went through everything he asked me what my goal was i told him i don't know get 40 45 pounds off of me I'll, I'll be happy he challenged me to 60 pounds I looked over at Walt after that phone call. Actually, it was his <laughs> I looked at him and I said, that man is fat shit crazy. <laughs> um, I, I've lost 83 pounds and I've, I've kept it off now. Um, it's almost coming up on a one year anniversary of hitting my goal weight. Um, yeah. and, I, and I've kept it off. Um, the, the cool thing about it is, is that uh, I've now become a cooker, never cooked before can i tell them the story now can i tell yeah. them come tell them well, yeah so them that's them. a funny thing i'm glad she brought that up because you're all going to find this entertaining in that for the first 19 years of our marriage i did all the cooking and got us fat <laughs> Paige, Paige decided that we were going to find some healthy habits in the last two years and we've both gotten skinny actually between the two of us it's a combined 170 pounds so <laughs> thank god for Paige and her cooking <laughs> I, I was hoping you were going to talk about that because that is one of my favorite little nuggets of information about the two of you. So, there's lots of nuggets of information about the two of us. But yeah, we don't have enough time for that. <laughs> but yeah, I started cooking and, and um, I, I've found recipes. I've shared stuff with Sharon. She'll reach out to me every now and then and say, what yeah. is this recipe here? How do you make jicama fries? <laughs> What do you oh, what about what about the, what about the spaghetti squash boats that are just like eating spaghetti and meatballs? Mm -hmm. Only it's spaghetti squash. It's awesome. It's great stuff. Yeah. So, um, hey Paige, what are you? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Would you share a little bit about what your um, healthy mind transformation has been like? I mean, the the physical transformation and nutrition and cooking and um, losing 80 pounds is one of the things we do for self-care, but I referred earlier to like, we also have another component. Are you comfortable sharing just even a smidgen of what that's been like for you? Yeah. I mean, I, um, I, I, am a nurse. I, I, I work in a, in a, a stressful job. Um, some days are more stressful than others. We were just chatting at today was a good day. Today I had, a lot of laughs and a lot of fun today. My all-time favorite patient came in today. So I, I had a good day today. But um, some days, uh, you know, uh, stress, we all deal with stress in different ways. Um, sometimes those ways are unhealthy. Uh, I, I There were nights that I would come home and, you know, in, instead of now I come home and I walk. That's my thing. Like I, I get home, I'm hitting 20,000 steps a day. On the days that I'm really stressed out, I might hit 25,000 steps. So yesterday was a 25,000 stepper. Um, today, I don't even feel stressed, but I want to go out and I want to walk. So I'm probably going to, when we're done here, go out for a walk. But, uh, you know, be honest with you, be a little bit transparent and accountability post here. Um, our group had done a 30-day challenge, or it was a 15-day challenge that we were doing, actually. Um, and I stood on the scale on Monday morning for that. And I went, oh, crap, man, I haven't seen that number in a long time. So I reached out to Sharon and I said, all right, 
I need a systems check. I'm a coach, but I'm a client first. So I knew I needed a systems check. So she's like, all right, Zoom in 15 minutes. She always, she always wants to Zoom with me. And I think I know why is because she can tell when I'm not being truthful when, 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 we're, when we're doing this. I can lie over the phone. So we talked about it. Everything was on point except for maybe I might have been a little bit too much of the uh, you know, adult juice boxes that we can say. So she challenged me to, to give up drinking for a week, which I did, and then another week, which I did. So I've quit drinking and I lost the 10 pounds that I gained. So, I mean, I can tell you that a uh, healthier mind is I have the mindset that I exercise now. I exercise my stress away. Um, I don't do a lot of going to the gym, hitting it and, and doing all of that. I walk. And, uh, I get and by default, right, that's a whole nother healthy habit. Yeah. 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 To be a, 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 a small piece watching the transformation that Paige has had, and, and I'll hopefully um, not step on your toes and say, because of Paige's success, Walt actually began his health journey. Walt, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I started... Um... A little bit while, a while after Paige, because of course we had our, um, at that time, high school age son at home. And, um, you know, we had to figure out how to feed him. Um, and even though I wasn't cooking and making us fat, we had to still think about what he was eating because we changed a lot of the ways that we prepared food. And here's the greatest thing in the world is when Ben started eating some of those things that Paige prepared, um, next thing you know, the leftovers were disappearing before <laughs> her and I would get to them. Um, so all of a sudden I said, well, I might as well get started. So on Paige's birthday last year, right? It was last year. I jumped in and made the commitment to the Habits of Health transformational system. And um, at that time I was a type two diabetic, slightly below 300 pounds. And um, I was on eight different medications. And um, within six months, seven months, um, I lost 80 pounds. Um, I'm now basically have held that weight since Thanksgiving through all the holidays and such, my 60th birthday, et cetera. Um, and I no longer take any medications. Um, I too practice the habit of healthy motion. I don't quite get to 20,000 steps, but I find it to be very mentally refreshing to clear my mind every evening. Um, and, and I make crazy videos by myself to where I goof, goof a few times and I don't edit. So I just hit post, but, um, you know, and that's kind of how I got to where I'm at. And, um, it's been a joy to see and work with Paige as we've moved on. And, you know, as I would say too, if people wanted to see some of the things that we've done and talk about, we have a Facebook page called the coaching couple, um, that you're certainly welcome to check out. Um, you know, enough about us. Let's let's finish talking about some of these healthy habits and giving people the the outline of how to create a self care plan so that um, you know people can join us. and And if you'd like to find out more, and we'll probably recap at the end, you know, put a comment in the thing um, there on Facebook or or reach out to one of us, and we'll be here happy to talk more specifically about what your health situation is and how we can help you create a self care plan. So what are some of those other key, key habits that we've all learned that uh, would impact people to a healthier lifestyle? Oh, are we asking about the, the macro habits? I know. Yeah, you want to talk yeah. about this? We, we live by six macro habits and that's how we stay healthy and get healthy. So I'm going to let Paige share. I'm, I'm, am I doing them all now? I think we should each do two, right? Oh, you want to do two? Well, we've got two down, four to go. Let's just go around the screen. <laughs> So I'll take the habit of healthy motion, right? Okay. So I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory, the habit of healthy motion and get out there and move. Right. I know when I first started this, there, my movement at 230 pounds looked a hell of a lot different than what my movement looks like now. And See, what are some of the benefits that you've enjoyed by becoming more mobile? Uh, it's, it's helped my mind for being more mobile. Now, all of a sudden I have the second mind. Thank you. So now I've done my two. Well, 
And right, and, and less That's inflammation. Mind, right? right? Move, less inflammation. And if you were just starting out, what are some activities? Sometimes we refer to them as neat that people could do who are having trouble, you know, early on in their self-care plan. What are some strategies they could try just to try and get moving a little bit more? So I, I you know, at work, I, I, I'm on the computer, whether I'm in triage or I'm on the floor, I try and find the computer that I'm standing, right? So standing is, is better than sitting, right? Yeah. Um, so we have options to stand, we have options to sit. So I don't sit at the touchdown, I'm at the ones where I'm standing and, and so I'm on my feet most of the day. Um, you know, using your non-dominant hand for things. So when you use a vacuum cleaner with your non-dominant hand, you're making this, this, this muscle work, but you're using muscles that you're, you know, don't use that much. And it, it you know, that's, that's an option for you as well. Um, I know one of the things that I do away from the door. Well, that's that you stole one. Oh. Oh. Well, I always thought you parked far away because you didn't want your car to get hit. Well, you know, I was practicing. It may have been the thought, too. right. It may have been his thought, but in getting healthier, he now knows the reason why he parks farther away. Yeah, now it's called a habit. Then it was called a, a strategy. Right. <laughs> Life is an exit strategy. That's right. Um, so <laughs> taking the steps instead of the elevator. Yep. simple things that you can do that that give you that healthy motion without having to go out and do 25,000 steps until you're ready to do 25,000 right steps. you work up to it and right. you can't be afraid right because you're just trying to work up to it because it's all about creating the habits um and once one of the best things about doing 20,000 steps when it's when it gets later at night how do you feel what are you ready for good nights what Good night's sleep. So now we've got the, the habit of healthy sleep, right? Yeah. So you want to you aim for, let's be realistic here, uh, you know, seven to eight hours a night. That's, that's, that's the goal is seven to eight hours a night of sleep. And I can tell you that I know for a fact that it, it is a direct correlation, your sleep and weight loss. Yes. Absolutely. Scientific. Scientific. Is there a medical purpose or medical reason for that, Sharon? Is what what is the relationship between sleep and weight loss? Oh, um, we might need to actually bring that up at another time because that's that's a really great topic to talk about because I'm um, a little bit of a fanatic when it comes to sleep, having oh, okay. my own history of sleeping pill addiction. So let's curtail that one to maybe even next week. Yeah, another week when we start breaking them down one by one. This is yeah. kind of just an overview we're doing tonight, but yep. the habit of healthy sleep. And, and what are some of the other key things that are a healthy habit? Uh, healthy nutrition and hydration. Mm -hmm. Right, which comes along from burning calories with healthy motion, getting a good night's sleep. You're going to want to wake up and eat well and hydrate because you're out burning calories. You're going to need to rehydrate. But uh, and it all goes hand in hand. It's almost like it's a full circle when you think about it, right? Because one begets the next one. And then I guess the, one of the last ones would be healthy surroundings that's because, this. because that's this, that's a community. Because when you start to practice healthy habits, you start to uh, attract and be attracted to other people who have healthy habits. And you also become attracted to helping people understand and help to work towards their own healthy habits, which is why we're here tonight, is to help to encourage everyone who's listening to the recording or watching live to think about what elements of these habits you could incorporate into your life to create a self-care plan. So you don't have to go down to those, um, those catastrophic type things that you know, we talk about that we pay for in advance and we hope they never happen, but we're insured against it. Um, what can you do to change or adapt your lifestyle to a more healthy setting? And of course, we're missing leaving one out. So Sharon, you want to talk about the last one we've left out so far? Which I think the only one you have in is the healthy weight management, right? Right. Yeah. And, and that's actually something that I talked about this morning in our private little group. Um, healthy weight management for me has been 10 years. And there's a little acronym. It's called Be Slim. Um, and it's breakfast, exercise, and we'll, maybe we'll cover this in the future. 
It's low yep. glycemic and low fat meals throughout the day. Timing of eating is also important. It's having support. It's having an individual plan. So we each have different plans based right. on our needs, our current reality and what we wanna to work towards. Um, and then monitoring, right? If you don't monitor yourself on a weekly basis, eventually, you know, three, four weeks, three, four months down the road, you might find yourself unhealthy again. You know, one of the things about a healthy mind and healthy surroundings is that people might look at us now being healthier and go, well, you're healthy. It must be easy for you to do those things. You know what? We weren't always this way. So what you see today is not something we've always had. We've had to grow into it. And we've had to get vulnerable and share that I had a sleeping pill addiction. Paige admitted she used prescription medications to try to get weight off. Walt did other things, I'm sure, that he has. I had a yet. seafood diet. I saw it and I ate it. There you go. And, and we practice the habits of health globally because we've learned them, but we start with a micro habit. And so while we threw a lot of information at everybody tonight, that's just the overview. And we can walk people through one habit at a time until you get really good at it. And then it yep. builds and it, it, it feels good to feel good. So you keep doing the things that feel good. So. Right. It's always a work in progress. And that's what makes it great because every day you're doing the work and every day at the end of the day, you feel great that you did the work. And even more so is, you know, when you start to talk to people and, and they, they, they recognize the work you've done or they ask about what are you doing? Right. Um, so Awesome. Great job, everybody. Tonight, I guess we're kind of kind of up against the time slot yeah. based on what we kind of set out to be our goal. So um, just to kind of wrap it up, um, if you'd like more information immediately, right, put a comment in the chat, reach out to one of us individually through Facebook or Facebook Messenger, and we can set up a time to talk to you about your current reality in health and a self-care plan. Um, you can feel free. We'll be back again next Wednesday night where we tar start to take some of these healthy habits um, and kind of break them down into more specific habits or micro um, habits so that we can share what, you know, would be the next element of your self-care plan. Um, ladies, anything else you'd like to add before we close it out? No, I want to say thank you to Paige um, for being our thank first you. guest and hopefully yep. she'll join us more regularly. Um, if anybody wants to join us who knows a little bit about it from an experience as a client, as a coach, we'd welcome somebody to join in. If people want to do a um, question and answer kind of session with us and jump on with us live, feel free to let us know. I think the more we do this, the more fun it is, obviously, and hopefully we just impact even one more life. So thanks, Walt. Absolutely. All right. Great job, ladies. It's been a lot of fun. See you all Have next week. Yep. Bye-bye.